Hello, Tiger fans, and welcome to this week's edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. I'm your host, Ben Rosenbaum, and as always, I'm joined by the head coach of the Tigers, Laura Harper. Coach, Happy New Year, and welcome to TSN Studios for the first time in 2024. Thank you. Happy New Year to you and your family as well. Thank you. So let's, let's jump into it. Um, it's been a little bit since we played our last game uh, against George Mason, a tough loss, 86-73. It was about that second half again uh, for the Tigers. Mason kind of shifts into a different gear in that second half, a down third quarter scoring for you guys. Uh, just when you look at that game from, from a, wide, a wide view, um, how, do you, how do you diagnose that game and what happened? For sure. Well, first of all, credit George Mason there, a really well-coached team. And I think there's been some things that came out versus Mason and Maryland from a press break. <laughs> You know, how are we handling pressure? How are we handling, you know, when people change things up on us and we've gotten comfortable one way, how are we shifting and adjusting? And we worked on it day in and day out, but honestly, I just think that they got more possessions than us <clears throat> at a really pivotal time and we just really didn't handle their pressure well at all. And, and you mentioned, you know, certainly at Maryland, the zone and then the press break against Mason. Uh, now that film is getting out, you have to, it, at this time of year for all schools, you have to kind of say on your toes, okay, we found a hole that maybe we didn't realize. Now we have to cover it up. How intense is that pace where you think, you and your coaches think, okay, in practice, we're going to be going into this. And now you're totally shifting focus onto something else. A hundred percent. We've had to revert back into what are things right now that are holes within our program, which are things that we can control. So we've worked on the press break every single day since we, we came back on December the 28th. And, you know, now zone has also been a focus as well the next couple of days because, you know, Elon will zone us some and he's going to for sure press us. Um, so it's been, it's been good practice and I feel like having that taste in our mouth from George Mason and from Maryland, it's just preparing us better for conference play. Uh, one stat that jumps out against George Mason is the foul shooting. Uh, Mason 21 of 23 from the line, Towson 10 of 19. It, that has to be frustrating, A, to surrender that many foul shots and then Mason converts almost 90-something 90, 90 percent of them and then for you to leave nine free points on the line as well. Was foul shooting an emphasis and, and trying to avoid fouling an emphasis the last week or so? For sure, you know, sometimes I'll do quite a bit of, you know, 10 in a row here, five in a row here. It's funny, just even in talking, I think we'll all shoot 50 after today practice and <laughs> we'll probably shoot 50 tomorrow. But overall, we're a pretty good foul shooting team. I think it becomes a focus and just a confidence thing and we'll continue to, you know, instill that. Even in the loss, though, bright spots, Kylie, uh, three Tigers in double digits, Kylie with a 22.14 double-double. Uh, and it was good to see her really get into what Towson fans have seen as Kylie form. Yeah, you know, I know what Kylie's capable of. She shows it every single day in practice, and it's just good for her to play free, to not think. I mean, she it was almost like she couldn't miss any shots she took, and that was just fun. I think sometimes, though, when she gets into that mode, the rest of our team, we become spectators. Mm. And I think that's something that we just have to do a little bit better in making sure that we can continue to just to assist her and to compliment when she's doing like, what else can we do? Can we go after more offensive rebounds? Can we just be a little bit more dominant and, <clears throat> and not just be Kylie? And then of course, uh, Kayla Morris gets to make her debut. It was kind of quick. It was also a very awkward situation. She wasn't eligible, then she's eligible. She's getting you know thrown into the action. She picks up two quick fouls and that kind of limited her, but uh, five points, three rebounds, a block, and, and one of those, uh, three of those points, a three pointer for her. And, we got, we got to see a glimpse of, of what Kayla can be, and, and now she's certainly had some more time preparing as if she's going to play more. How, so how's that adjustment been for her? You know, I think the easiest job in the world is playing on the scout team. I think there's no pressure, there's no expectations, and Bug has been destroying us day in and day out on the scout team. So now it's, okay, that's why I was saying we started these identity meetings. What, what is our identity going to be as we're, you know, implementing another really strong player into the mix? So, you know, credit her for, you know, staying the course, being consistent, but it's going to take us a little time to just get into a flow with her as well. All right, so now non-conference in the books. We are on to a totally different beast now in CAA play. And you start off uh, with the North Carolina trip at Elon on Friday, January the 5th, and then on Sunday at North Carolina A&T on January 7th. Before we get to the game themselves, uh, the logistics of that trip, that's a, that's a dog of a trip. That is a long trip. It's a lot of hours traveling. I'm, I'm sure Sierra Webb, your director of operations, is, is really you know, beating her head against the wall trying to get that trip organized. Of course. As a coach, how do you handle a trip like that where you know 
come the NCAT game, they're going to be tired. It's, it's, you know, A, they have the Elon game, and then they have to get back on a bus, and they have to sit, and they have to travel. You know, I think credit our players for the deep bench that we do have. And in all 15, I trust at any point in time we're able to play any of them. I think, you know, we have so many newcomers, and not a lot of them play Friday, Sunday, and understand that that's almost back-to-back. -back. I don't know what's worse, Friday, Sunday, or back-to-back. Because -back. at least with back-to-back, -back, you still have the momentum. You just keep going. Right. Uh, we will be ready. I think I'm, <clears throat> pardon me, a little bit cautious on minutes. So I, I try to keep everyone 30 or under so that, you know, we have as fresh legs as possible. But, yeah, we leave tomorrow, midday. We practice down there. We have the game on Friday. Then we leave after the game on Friday, go to a and And, you know, it's going to be a really hostile environment as well. But we've been practicing hard, and I hope that they're prepared. All right, let's talk about the basketball now. Elon, 4-9. and nine. A weird year so far for Elon. You know, you look and four and nine, tough schedule um, with some big deficits that really jump out. Big losses to UNC, NC State. They only scored 29 points against ODU. Uh, what have you seen when you look at the Phoenix? You know, although that their season has been up and down, they are very capable. And you know, Charlotte Smith is an outstanding coach. So I look at their last game versus High Point, and they were pressing all game. They were out there they were aggressive they were scoring they brought two new players back in the mix um that hadn't really been playing i know you know they had a devastating car injury to ava larue um i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing her name properly but that changed up the dynamic and how they're playing and just our thoughts and prayers are with her as well but this is this is elon that um they're, they're a very very talented team and we're going to be ready when you see a team like elon that has these vast differences in their output does that make them a tougher scout? Or like you said, do you just really focus on what have they done lately? You know, I will always go to when did they play best? And how can I really, really, so I watched that game, I watched the Marshall game, so you can see like their ultimate potential. You know, number four, we have no answer for slowing her down. She is just, she gets to the rim at a, a pace that I, I have no idea who's gonna slow her down. It's gonna be a, a whole team effort. Similar with number two, which, you know, I think from a matchup standpoint, she kind of plays guard forward for them. I suspect she'll probably guard Kylie as well. So we'll have that matchup. But can Kylie defend without fouling? They're both a little bit like out of control, one could say in, in their game. So I, I'm looking forward to it. And then of course, before we go, NCAT to round out the trip, six and five wins over Wake Forest and Liberty. Uh, they open up with the College of Charleston when you're playing Elon. Um, they're led by Tucker, Bracone, and Dorsey scoring-wise. They've lost Jasmine Harris, who was a big presence, but they got a little bit bigger inside in uh, Saniya Clark. So how do you deal with the size of Clark and then also that three-headed scoring monster of Bracone, Dorsey, and Tucker? For sure, you know, we're familiar with a and and their style of play, and he likes to throw it inside just like us, but he really likes to press, you know. So that's going to just be, can we close out to Bracone? She's arguably the best shooter in the conference. You know, we know that Dorsey is, again, she is, off the dribble, she is a three-level scorer that we just have to be prepared and be ready to defend and not put them on the, the free throw line 20-something times um, like we did versus Mason, but we'll be ready. All right, the Tigers hit the road this week to open up CAA play. You can follow along on TowsonTigers.com and Flow Sports. Coach, thanks for joining us, and good luck this week. Thank you. For more news and notes on your favorite Tiger teams, make sure you head over to TowsonTigers.com. For the head coach of the Tigers, Laura Harper, I'm Ben Rosenbaum. Thanks for joining us, and as always, go Tigers. Go Tigers.